Under tow, but I am alive, surviving on stolen gulfs of city air, yanked from the lungs of the Statue of Liberty, or any other cold behemoth, the meaning of which changes with time. Irony is dead and trying to take me with it, but I will not submit. I hold on with the grip of someone who has slipped before, and oh, the people I've seen fall. Giants of will, artisans of sincerity, ever smiling, never vibrant head cases. Doctors, lawyers, lovers of life, real pieces of shit. Politicos and death dealers smashing out a four on the floor. Smother your mother and fuck a rock and roll full of soul. I will survive. And if I don't, who gives a fuck anyway? New American anthem. I feel the weight of an occasional desire to fuck someone I hate while I breathe fire and she chews glass. I suppress it, barely able to move past the chance of ruin me, ruin me, ruin me. Believe whatever you want as long as it hurts. Steal. Be patient. Sand from the hourglass lends weight to your stupid opinions. Thickens up the mud we live in, and I hold on through that all-American numbness. The blisters and bruises gathered through that eternal escape from justice because no, I hate marching. I love running, and I've been threatened with every flavor of Armageddon and in dreams I've seen when I hope my slowly shattering mind shows me when the time comes. A slideshow of memories and imaginings, grass stains on Little League baseball pants, young bodies kept in impeccable shape from hours of sex, just out of reach of regret, conversations till dawn when the sun trespasses on our sanctuary, nightmares of being chased by a skeletal Jesus, all skin and bones confuse me, confuse me, confuse me, that cultural icon who knows how to hold on. I want to hold on like Jesus holds on, like stepping down off that cross would be more painful than staying, and I want to hold on even even though some mornings I completely forget why with my mouth dry and a sweet taste on my lips and something worth remembering more than just hold on, hold on, hold on. But that's what I wake up with. That's what I choke on and sometimes swallow. That's the dogma I follow. Like peace follows war because there's nothing left. Nothing left to hold on to. <laughs> yeah.